So I was doing some research and I started to see a trend coming along, okay? J.D. Vance once called VP Kamala Harris a childish, childless cat lady. He said it in an interview back in 2021. And here's like, here's the actual video itself. So he was literally basically saying going off right here. Check it out. Run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable <laughs> at their own lives and the choices that they made. And so they want to make the rest of the country miserable too. And it's just a basic fact. You look at Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, AOC, the entire future of the huh. Democrats is controlled by people without children. And how does it make any sense that we've turned our country over to people who don't really have a direct stake in it? Bye. All right. Homeboy came in there hot. <laughs> JD came in there hot. He, uh, talking about Kamala Harris, cat lady. And the exact words that he says said in there were, yeah, <laughs> pretty interesting. So go ahead and wait, replay that back. But I was doing some research over here on Amazon and uh, coming across a few things vote for the child child childless cat lady now this is an interesting play on things because a lot of people are like i can see a lot of people see leaving comments and they're concerned about if they can create designs inside of this niche I'm, for like the political niche right the, the general one. now repeat this again the, my for my understanding as long as they're running for president right if they're running for president or they're in office it's to create designs for them now depending on each platform they have their own set of rules Rules still do apply, okay? And then I see a lot of people that are also making excuses for why their account is getting suspended or they're getting rejections. You have to understand when you're looking at any of this stuff, like the same thing still applies, doesn't matter to any platform that you're on, the same rules apply. So your goal is to go by those rules as best as possible. Now, understanding and knowing for yourself to, for you to make your best decision is the most important thing here. Because if you don't feel comfortable doing it at the end of the day, don't do it, right? It's like, why, why, why are you doing it if you don't know what you're doing? Like, it doesn't make any sense, right? So if you're confused, you're confusing yourself because you're seeing all these sales accumulate. Yes, it's nice, right? It's the, it's the, it's the fancy little thing that's going on right now, right? It's the fancy, oh yeah, look at, let's make a lot of sales. Look at my uh, screenshot. Here's a dashboard. Look, I made $2,000 in one day. It's nice. Yes, that's nice. But then what happens when you get your account suspended because you're not following the rules and understanding the whole play on things and how everything is working. So make sure you very clear. And then if you feel like you can, you want to create like a design, something like this, where it doesn't even say the president's name or the person that's running for president in there, uh, Kamala Harris, you can see right here, they're using her name, but they didn't use her, her, her name at all in the design. They use it here in the title and in the brand, but you don't even have to use it in there or there, right? So just to just kind of, there's different ways that you can create designs around this. And this is a perfect example. It says vote like a childless cat lady. That's a cat where the O is supposed to be, right? We all know that's, you know, that design template is, is a popular one. Now, if we come in here, we look at all time sales. It's made its first sell two days ago. And look at, this is what we like to see is print on demand sellers, 35K. Let's see how long it's been up. This was put up four days ago. So when I talk about, when I talk about like, like different ideas and, and coming up with your, like, because you, some people say like, it's, it's, there's a lot of competition. There's no way you can create a design in there. Like, look at this, just, this is it right here. Literally, if you just typed in like maybe funny, say, funny things said about uh, Kamala Harris, like a funny, a funny things said about her, right? You can literally probably, this will probably pop up right on the front page. And we would just, I just showed you that video. It was something right there. They're, they're literally taking that phrase that he said about her and then flipping it and saying, vote like a childless cat lady. So if you see that, this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot of competition, but there's a lot of demand. When there's a lot of competition, there's demand. It's your job to understand the research part of things of this right here. That way you can make sales. And I'm, I'm saying this to help you, to help you understand, like if you do it this way and you understand it, you're going to make money. And that's my goal of creating this video, like break all the des designs down, but show you like, this is something that was said. It was childless cat lady, right? And a twist on things and boom, now it's a, a top selling, it's a top selling design on Amazon. Top research design vault, 180 plus niches. With this, you get low competition niches, keywords related to that niche, trademark and copyright checks. Now I know that people struggle with coming up with profitable niche research and that is my goal with this is to help you make money with these niche ideas and the way that i'm going to be doing that is by providing more and more niches for you to give you inspiration and to help you understand what is selling at this time and point right now i'm on track to be releasing 
new niches every week and that can be averaged between 15 to 20 niches a week so basically 80 niches a month now once i get that down and have a good workflow for that i'm going to try to increase that even more to where i'm releasing even more niches every week and this is going to help you make money. My goal with this is to help you make money at the end of the day. And if you don't know who I am, I've sold over, it's pretty, it's going to be on, I'm on track right now, close to over $400,000 in royalties all time with Amazon merch alone, which is almost $2 million in sales. Now this is the royalties all time. And I've spent over close to close to a hundred thousand dollars on ads too as well. So you got to get an idea of what I've done over the years and this account I had pretty close to eight years now and pushing so I've done my fair share of research and understanding of the platform and my goal is to help you like I said so go ahead and subscribe ten dollars a month if you don't like it you can cancel at any time but I'm gonna be providing a ton of value back here so that ten dollars a month is nothing now let's move on to the next one childless cat lady 24 you see what they did here right now this one right here look at that didn't they didn't put on the keywords you see the keywords nothing about no president name no nothing it's obviously the theme of like that that what is it like that uh, that ribbon that uh, that buttons theme red white and blue but there's no blue there's just a little like little gold pa paws in there a little cat in there stretching right pretty cool 1338 all time you're gonna see right here let's break this down it's made his sell first sell on the 25th right but now look there's just so much as soon as you see like something populating it because I created the last video that I created or the vi last video I created about the political niche, right? This thing was trending. It was going crazy. Now there was obviously leveraging that and leveraging certain things that are happening and getting all, gathering all that traffic and traffic and trying to take advantage to make sales. Like this is exactly what these people are doing. These are people are doing this right here. So July 24th, 2024 was uploaded, made its first sale up here at the 25th, which was the next day of it being uploaded. 36 KBSR right now and it's going. Childless Cat Lady 2024. 2024 lady is voting. Ladies is voting for Kamala t-shirt. Childless Cat Lady for president. Even this right here, this right here, Childless Cat Lady for president. That is a design idea. That's a design idea. We come down all time sales. Let's look at this first sale on the 25th and it's cranking. It's ranking into the algorithm guys. Perfect example, 35 KBSR. Now, if you guys are unaware of what this is, so when it's make it makes its first sale, it's going to rank it to the algorithm. Once it ranks into the algorithm right there, you're going to see it's on the 25th. It started to rank. We got a, a sales rank of 546. And then as it started making more sales, it's, it starts to get lower. The sales rank, we're looking at the sales rank. It starts to get lower and lower. The lower the sales rank, the more sales that it's making in a day, the closer to one, the better. If you get it closer to one, which in the, in the in a video previous video we found a one of the Kamala Harris's uh, t-shirts, one of the t-shirts designs up here was at rank like 89. That was crushing it, right? Which is crazy. All right, next one, Childless Cat Ladies for Kamala Harris 2024. We're seeing that vintage style the cat looks a little a little sassy, huh? <laughs> That's a cool design. Cool design. Let's go all time sales. Made his first sale on the 27th, two days ago. 47k with it popped up with the 47k bsr and as of today it's at 17k bsr yeah so it's cranking it's at its lowest ever today remember the lower the better now this child this childless cat lady is voting for kamala election voting for kamala election 24 uh, see what they're doing here with their keywords you get a, a good understanding of all this and i'm seeing a lot of like the the floral the floral like the flowers and stuff too as well the, the the kitty has an American flag, little shirt on or around him. Pretty cool. Him or her made its first sale on the 25th. Now look at it's cranky making sales Tw today. Look at it's already it's on the next day. So 21k BSR. It's making sales. Childless cat lady. Ladies voting for Kamala t-shirt. Looks good on a white t-shirt. Remember, simple little edit. Make it look good on a black t-shirt. Make it look good on a white t-shirt. And you have two top selling designs if you do this correctly. All time sales 25k. I mean, made its first sale on 20 the 25th, which is four days ago, and it's making sales right now as of today. 27k. Cat ladies. So they got a little, <laughs> got a little cult, like a little, what would you call it? Like a, like a cult of cat ladies just going for Kamala Harris for president right now. Cat ladies for, pre for Kamala. So like, you don't even have to say, say cat ladies for the next president or something or something around that, like something like that. I think that'd be a good idea, but look at this cat. Got the glasses on stars and the glasses, the flag, the bandana flag. This cat is cool. <laughs> That's, that's pretty good. Cool. Let's go down and see all time. You can see it's made its first sale on the 27th. And then dang, 
Look at that. This is a winner right here. This one's crushing. So that phrase right here that we just found, cat ladies for Kamala, is, is cranking and making sales. So this might be the winning phrase right there, right? So just think of different ideas around this that can be populated. Harris, so they just have the last name for Kamala Harris's last name on the shirt, but we have a cat on there with American flat, like merch all over that cat. The glasses, it looks like it has like a shirt on or a, a bandana below the neck and the flag behind the, uh, behind the cat. And this is interesting because this is something possibly we created with AI, very something very simple. But yet, let's see this one right here, the 24th minutes for a sell. Now it's all the way down to 10K. So that's it. So what can you get when you're looking at this? We go over the, all the research, right? We went over everything, right? Simple, like the simple ones are doing good. But from looking at all this right here, let me go back and look at all this. These two right here, these two are doing the best out of all these designs, which means people are loving the cat theme of, you know, decked out USA flag glasses all that stuff and you can see what they're doing in the bullet points too and and look at the key you know looking at the keywords and like just looking at this like what else can you what else can be done by looking at this right here like thinking of a different idea and this it may take a little bit of brain power you can even plug it into like ai and see like what other type of designs it can be created for you and you know what since we're on this topic let's go ahead and i'm gonna grab that image I'm gonna go over here to ideogram.ai. I'm gonna go over here to upload an image. I'm gonna grab that image. I would just grab, grab that one. Describe. What I did right there, when I uploaded the image, I uploaded the image. It's the AI is just like understanding the image, right? And then it's populating a black t-shirt design with a graphic design. So like, I'm gonna literally just take that part out. The design features a cat wearing sunglasses better. Let's do, let's do this vector design features a cat. Let me go ahead and you. Just leveraging, I took out the beginning because I don't want it to populate like a t-shirt uh, background, right? I don't want that t-shirt style background. Let's go ahead and hit generate and see what this comes up with. And if you're unaware what this is, this is an image generator, right? Which is pretty cool. It creates some really cool stuff back here. If you've seen some of my videos, I created a few tank. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, these are solid, huh? These are solid. You see what I did right there, right? I just pu plugged it in and boom, literally came up with, these are like, these are solid. Or look, this, I like what they like, even like this design right here, this design's pretty clean. Cat ladies, this is, this designs are pretty clean. I did a good job, solid. Each one of these are solid. So I literally would just, <laughs> every single, I think all four, yeah, all four of these are good. But that's a, that's a beautiful, that's crazy how it can do that. So even if, so if you don't even like it, you can just hit regenerate again, right? And then it'll save it down here for you. And then it'll regenerate another one. You know, you know how to save this for the, the, the very end. Cause this, this, this is crazy. Those are money. Only thing you have to do is you, you can, you can even upscale them and just take out the, the backgrounds and how you can do that in your, this is dope. This one's dope. You can upscale it and it spelled it correctly. Oh my God. Take out, you upscale it take out the background and then boom, you have yourself a design for Amazon. Pretty dope. Like this one's clean. Cause I like, it just has shows the actual whole cat. A lot of them are showing, Oh, this one's cool. The, the, these, I like what they're doing. Creating some magic here, guys. I don't, this is a lot of value right here. This is, this is money guys. This is a lot. This is money right here. And you can see by looking let's look at the prompt like magic prompt right here too. Just to give you guys an idea. You can see exactly what it created to create this design to show you kind of give you guys an insight you're seeing that i think each one should be different yeah each one is different so you can see them the prompts right those prompts right there if you like say if you like this design you want to look at that prompt pause the video get an idea what it looks like i know i've been creating uh different this is the, so this is the this is the basic prompt we put in and then went ahead and made it a little bit more better made it a better prompt to put out a better design for us now like for example like this one it's not always going to be perfect cat ladies and they take you know you can see it's it's put four two times but if you come in here and erase this part right here, right? We just erase that part right there. Take it out right there. It's, it's still a good design. Okay. Cat ladies. Go ahead and show that one. See that one. And we'll go back to the other prompt so you can see that prompt too as well. See that? Boom. So that's the prompt that I put in to give you an idea. Remember the prompt is important because that's what spits out the design. Very important. Let me go back to the other one so I give you guys an insight of what it looked like too. Same thing too. The same exact prompt, but the magic prompt went ahead and, 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 and created this. This is the one right here. So let's go to the next one. Same exact thing with this one. This one's cool, right? Pretty clean. And then this one too as well. Give you an idea of that one and that one. So those are the prompts right there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Also, if you didn't know too, inside of Ideogram, you can upscale an image. So here's the original and here's the upscaled image. If you just, let's say, let me come back over here. What I did was click on, so click on the image. When you click on the image, you're gonna hit upscale. And then you upscale this image, it's gonna, you can, you know, it's right here. And then upscale and then 
resemblance or detail. You can mess with this a bit if you want and then just hit upscale and then it's going to take in that original image and upscaling it. And then, you know, you can go and just take out the background. There's a few tools that you can use like photo P that you can use Canva. There's a, there's a few different things that you can use when it comes to this. So for example, let me go ahead and just might as well just show you the whole shebang. So let me grab that image. I just upscaled it and then let me click on the image, hit edit. And then when I hit edit, I'm going to come over here to remove BG remover, background remover, and then you can change the color of the background of the cam the canvas print or the canvas in the background. So I'm going to change it black for this example so I can see to make sure that it is clean and it looks good. And it looks pretty good. And maybe you change it to a different color. Maybe you can see if everything's good. It looks good. All right. So that's how you do it. And then I have it in the setting of 4,500 picks by 30, 5,500 picks. And then you can go ahead and hit download transparent background and boom hit the download then instead if you want to see how i come up with unlimited t-shirt ideas watch this video right here next thank you very much for watching peace out